I really don't feel like I'm prepared for this battle. Like, I don't know what type of Pokemon he's going to have. I don't know what levels they are. I don't know if I'm underleveled, but this is like a really kind of crucial battle. Because I'm pretty sure I can't get past this dude without battling him, right? Can I go into the store yet? Oh, I can. Okay, cool. Um. Is this an ice cream store? It looks like it. It's the Miraculous Munchie born in Alola. Welcome to your neighborhood Malasada shop. I'll take that, I guess. Um. Hey, Maud, do you want a Malasada? When you find yourself a seat, I'll bring you a Malasada fresh from the fryer. Time to feed your hungry meow with the freshly sweet Malasada. Meow's affection went up. I only gave it to Meowth because I think Meowth evolves from affection rather than levels. We sell Malasadas for takeout here. A big Malasada will cost 350. Well, uh, yeah, why not? Thank you for your purchase. Our big Malasadas are, re are really very big. Make sure you share it with your Pokemon. Alright, what does it do though? Well, it's a medicine. My Pokemon are just... My Pokemon are tired and just... My Pokemon just tried... I don't know why that confused me so much. My Pokemon just tried a... <laughs> My Pokemon just tried a just fried Malasada. Fuck you, dude. That tongue twister was terrible. Whenever I hang out with the other ladies of the office, they always humble brag about their families while, pre while, while pretending to be complaining. I'd much rather hang out here by myself and see if I can set a new record for the most Malasadas eaten in- Oh, that's so depressing! Oh, I feel so sorry for her! Did you know the name Malasada comes from the phrase meaning poorly cooked? I don't think there's anything poor about them. Man, I kind of want a Malasada now. I don't even know what's in one, but actually, what's... What? No, there it is. The Alola region's local specialty, fried bread. It can be used once to heal all the status conditions of a Pokemon. So it's essentially a very expensive full heal. All right. Oh, I see a sticker. There we go. Can I just go past him, I wonder? Yep, I can totally go past him. Alright, let's keep exploring. And there's nothing up there. Awesome, that's fun exploring. Yep, look at that. I told you it was a Machamp. Machamp is holding a sign saying, Alola Photo Club coming soon. Alright. Uh, hello, officer. Haha, <laughs> here's some advice, trainer. If you're going to stand up to tough opponents, then be willing to use items on your Pokémon. You can help them get stronger. He just told me to give my Pokémon drugs. That's exactly what that meant. Don't try and sugarcoat it. Dude, how'd you get this out? It's stuck. Uh, I'm stuck. Nope, there we go. Actually, I guess it can barely fit through there. Fair enough. I think this might be like the first police station ever in a Pokemon game that I've seen. I really like that Gramble too. It's a stuffed doll of everyone's favorite Gramble making its famous scary face. That's a shiny Gramble too. I know things that I don't know how things in other regions are, but it's pretty peaceful here in Alola. If you do anything too bad after all, you'll bring the wrath of the Guardians down upon you. That seems like a pretty easy gig, honestly. Just sit there, do nothing, because everyone's too scared, because the Guardians will kill them. Can I open this yet? Nope. Mellow Melee Ferry Terminal, okay. <gasps> Ooh, I see a TM there, I want it. Can I open this? I can open this, Oh yeah. I wonder if this grass has different Pokemon too. I'm really, I think I'm gonna, after... After I finish recording, I think I'm going to check all the documentation. Like, I'm going to try not spoil myself, but I kind of need to know different, where different routes are, because the whole Route 1 and Route 1 outskirts thing kind of really... <gasps> you can get Joltek! Oh, I wanted a Joltek! 
Dudes! Alright, I'm just going to run because we've got an important battle here. I don't want to waste time. Alright, Lima. I must admit, I've been wondering about you since I saw you at the training school. Yep, yep, yep. Allow me to see if you're ready for my trial. Sure. Behold, the magnificent Pokemon of the one and only Captain Lima! He's got four Pokemon! Oh no, I'm in trouble. I saw the Z bracelet too. Oh Alright, he's leading with Young Goose. That's not too bad. Because I can double kick this thing to death, hopefully. Although it's level 11 too. Come on, be faster, faster, faster. Nope. Take a tackle. Alright, you can take a tackle pretty well. But your double kick does nothing! Oh my god, really? There goes my defense. Alright. I took 9 damage from... No, not 9 damage. I took... 12 damage from the tackle. Even with my defense lowered a little bit, I should be able to take another tackle. Oh, just barely! Alright, we're gonna have to heal Bibby. Um, it's a good thing I have these lemonades. He also healed, so it's back to square one for both of us. <laughs> I think I'm gonna go with Scratch over... I don't, I don't think... No, I'm gonna go back. I'm just gonna keep double kicking. I can... Oh, he's late. Okay, I can't... I don't think I can risk Bibby being out here. He's lowered my defense twice now. It's, like, way too risky. Let's go with... I think Moogift. We're going to go with Moogift. Tackle. You can take a tackle, right? Oh my god. How much damage is that? That's... It's not half. So you can take one more tackle. Alright. You've now got to come out as well. I'm afraid, Moo Gift. Because your water gun did absolutely nothing to it. <laughs> Maybe Lily has to come out already. Yeah, we're going to bring Lily out. Lily can take this thing down. I don't know if he, I don't know if these his Pokemon are like you know, EV trained or anything. But god damn, he hits hard. All right, there's two Leers, but we are faster, so we will be able to finish off the Young Goose, thankfully. I might I might have to send Bibby back out because now that Bibby's been switched out, her defense will have reset. Smeagol. Um, let's go with Pinky. We'll go with Pinky. Pinky's been somewhat somewhat reliable. Pinky's Bubble Beam is actually pretty good, and I think this is his ace. So. Fake out. Oh no. Ouch. Alright, that was 10. That was 10. But you can't do it again. Quick attack. Okay, quick attack was 12 damage. That was a that was a good water gun. That was a good water gun. Or bubble, whatever it was. I'm so confused right now. Let's potion. His quick attack mainly do 12 damage, but I don't know what his other moves are. I can afford to take quick attacks. 
Work up. Oh no. There goes his physical attack rising and special attack. I'm going to use another potion. His ace is just... Alright, how much damage is Quick Attack going to do now? Oh! His Quick Attack does 18 damage. We can do another Water Gun as long as he doesn't get a crit here. Don't crit, don't crit, don't crit, don't crit, don't crit. Oh! I'm doing exactly what the police officer told me to. I am using items to help me win battles. This ROM hack is insanely tough. I do not- I don't think I had any kind of tr okay. I can do another Bubble Beam. I mean, Bubble Beam's a stab move. And it's still barely touching this Smeagol. Yes! Yeah, I don't think I have any problems, like, any sort of trouble in battle like this in Sinking Sapphire. Special- oh, your special attack- in, your special attack's really low, and Bull Beam is kind of what I rely on you for, Pinky. Lily grew to level 14. Lily wants to learn Razor Leaf? Yes! Leafage is 40 power, and that's 50. Oh, it's 95 accuracy, though, so I'm gonna get rid of... Astonish. Having a ghost move is nice and all, but I don't, I don't think it's going to be useful. Move greatly to level 12. Porygon. Um. Let's keep Pinky out. We're going to keep Pinky out. Pinky's doing okay. I'm going to potion Pinky, but... Alright, you took Storm Drain. That's... That's kind of useless for you, so that's okay. No wait, doesn't Storm Drain make it so you get you absorb water type moves, right? Transform into the psychic type. Okay, so I don't think I can hit you with bubble beam. I I don't know why I did mud slap instead of mud bomb. That was a mistake. But at least your accuracy fell. This, this, I, re I really like this ROM hack. It's such a challenge. Basic trainer battles are a tough, are, are tougher. But this battle, this is like a key battle. And it's insanely difficult. Think about how many potions I've had to use in it. I didn't have this problem in Singing Sapphire. Especially, well, at least not in the early game. Good job, Pinky. Just keep hitting it with Mud Bomb. And take a side beam. Yeah, you took a side beam like a champ. Keep lowering its accuracy. You can take one more side beam before I have to heal you. And your quick claw keeps coming into effect. Pinky, you, you are in the running for ace, Pinky. Oh, and you are confused. Let's use eliminate. Pinky dodged it. Okay. Go for another Mud Bomb. We can't use Bubble Beam because he's got Storm Drain. If I do that, then I think it boosts his special attack from what I remember. Let's... I might actually have been completely wrong. Let's check Pinky's ability. Draws in all water type moves. Instead of being hit by water types, it boosts a special attack. I was right. Okay. It is a very, very, very good job that I did not hit that. I, I did not hit Bubble Beam because his side beam would have become even tougher. And Pinky doesn't hurt herself. Pinky, Pinky, you know what? Let's let's heal you. I think the more turns that you're confused for, the better, the higher chance that you break out of it. So wasting a turn to heal. Well, it's not really wasting a turn, it's being safe. Nope, okay, come on, come on, come on, don't fail me, don't fail me. Oh, Pinky! It had to happen eventually. It had to happen eventually. Oh, 
Come on, Pinky. Come on. No, it dodged. <laughs> All right, let's heal. Let's heal. You dodge. Actually, while while you're while we're facing this thing, I mean, I can kill it in one move. I'm gonna heal Moo Gift too. He's still got one Pokemon left. I would rather use this chance fighting a Pokemon that has terrible accuracy. And, you know, Pinky dodged it, snapped out the confusion, and finishing it off. Pinky. Pinky, you. <laughs> oh, Pinky. Mord grew level 11. Maybe I should use Mords. A Baneri. Um. Let's go with Bibby, actually. I'm guessing Baneri's probably going to be a female. Yes, okay, so Rivalry's going to help Bibby here. And hopefully Double Kick can do a lot of damage for once. Attack fell, but... Ah, it's still a decent amount. Attack fell again. We're going to have to probably switch out Bibby here. Actually... No, Bibby can probably do it. Bibby can... Power-up punch. Okay, you got to take a hit, Bibby. Okay, yeah, Bibby's staying in. Ooh, they rose their attack, though, while lowering ours with the two baby doll eyes, but... <gasps> that was a crit! Good job, Bibby! Well done, Bibby. Yes, you have emerged victorious. Dude, that battle! <laughs> this is going to be a really tough ROM hack. You, or should I say, you and your Pokémon make an interesting team. I do hope you'll come to the Verdant Cavern and attempt a trial, the Trial of Lima. You can get there from Route 2. That Rome Dex of yours will show you the way. I bid you Alola. Man. Man, that was... Bibi, let's switch you out for Neon, just because... If I have to run into another trainer, I, I don't want to go all the way back to the Pokemon Center and then come back and explore what's down here. I'd rather go and just explore down here now and play it safe by switching. Oh, this is a different route. Okay, so can I catch Pokemon? Ooh, look at this. I totally can fish or surf off here. Oh, hello. A super potion. Hey, look at the Corsola. Hello. Oh, I can't talk to you up here. Okay. Nine of them. Hello. You got a real sweet kind of face, don't you? I bet old ladies love to give you candy. Uh, what? Fairy Terminal, the one place to get on and off ships. Oh. There we go. Attack power is the key to anything. If you use an X attack in battle, you can defeat a very tough opponent. Here, I'll give you one. I should have... I should have came here before I faced Lima. If I knew that... The next attack will sharply raise your Pokémon's attack stat, helping you defeat most of a Pokémon hands down. Def okay, you're going to give me an extra defense. Thank you. I really should have came and speak spoken to these people. The ocean around the Lola looks so huge and endless, but thanks to the great ferry system, you can get to the next island in no time. I wonder if I can just leave right now. Anyone around here? Nope. Are you two arguing? Ah, Alola, land of my dreams. Finally, I'm here to see you. Alola's great, isn't it? After all, there are lots of kind of different Pokemon that let you ride on their backs. Good of you to stop by. Have a look at my wares, but just, just a look. They aren't for sale. What? Why do you have a shop? I wonder when they're going to fix this. It's way more convenient to be able to use the vending machine anytime you want. Damn it! 
Oh, if I could buy more lemonades. I'm very sorry for the inconvenience, but the ship is undergoing regular maintenance. As someone that lives on an island, and the ferry is like the main way to get on and off, I completely understand that. The ferry is always under maintenance. <laughs> and now I can go through here. Alright, so I guess I've fully explored. How holy city. Let's go ahead and heal. And then I guess it's off to Route 2, where I can probably catch some new Pokemon. Although there'll probably be more story stuff that stops me. Yes. There we go. Let's, uh, let's go buy some more potions. Because I need to stock up on them. No, not Pokeballs. Potions. I got 24. I got 24 on me. Let's buy another 10. There we go. Actually, before we go up to Route 2, I want to show off the... Festival Plaza. So that, since I didn't cover this on a video, this is the Festival Plaza. Look, Miki, I'm accepting participants for emissions. Can't do them, I'm afraid. Thank you. Oh, okay, you give me tickets. Nice. You need festival tickets to host a mission. No, okay, never mind. Take me to an exciting place. So essentially, what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to turn on Wi-Fi or connect to the internet and you get people's, um, people's avatars come to visit your festival. Uh, an exciting place, I imagine, is probably... Fump Bump Park, maybe? Hmm, not exactly what I expected. How I feel right now is, what? Never mind, I picked the wrong one. So you basically talk to the avatars and you show them, tell me a place the Pokemon can enjoy, Fump Bump Park. How I feel right now is wonderful. There we go. I got 51 friend coins, I mean festival coins. Take me to an exciting place. A uh, ghost den, I guess. Ghost is very nice. How I feel right now is comfortable. Oh, uh, yeah, you'd be comfortable in a friend's uh, ghost place, wouldn't you? So you basically talk to people or you talk to these randomly generated NPCs the game gives you. I'm guessing probably once a day because I've ta when I talk to them. Where do you fit in in your family? Please answer the question. Um, I'm the firstborn. I see. Whoopee. And Nintendo likes to harvest your data by asking you inv invasive questions. Considering another question I got was, do you love anybody? <laughs> Tell me a place you think I'd like. Go to the kitchen, I guess. It's very nice. What I feel is nice. 23, wow. So this is, this is all you do. You connect to the internet, you talk to these different... Wait, why is yours red? Tell me the place you think I'd like. Go to Clink Clunk Land, I guess. Not exactly what I expected, okay. Oh, I guess red means you haven't talked to them? Yeah, okay. And you basically get to go ahead and unlock different, um, I guess, attractions like this. So you pay that you basically talk to people's avatars. And then you can, uh, let's give you, baby, you go in. You handed over 10 friend coins. Rumble, rumble, crash, crash. Baby came back looking surprised and found a full heal. Cool, I guess. Please come back again. Yeah, yeah. Which one's this one then? One to Bouncy House. Ah, uh, yeah, so this is the EV training thing that I think I mentioned when I first checked this place out. Which I'm not going to do, at least not right now. I might do it at some point, but the one that I wanted to visit... Which one are you again? Twenty-four bottles of Moomoo... Oh, this is where I bought the lemonade, that's right. You can buy Moomoo Moo milks and everything in here, which I am going to, like... Oh, I'm... 
You don't sell any more. Oh, okay. Um, let's buy some waters then. I guess you can only buy these like once a day. I really want to get those Moomin Milks. I mean, I know that I can't use Moomin Milks right now actually because my Pokemon aren't like 120 plus health, but I would rather collect them now. And <sighs> level 10. Or prize ten. I got prize two, my first choice, my first, um, my first attempt at this, and that's where I got the nugget from. That I sold for only five thousand um, bucks. Where are the, where are the, have I spoken to you? Nope. Okay, cool. Please tell me what, who do you tend to become friends with? Um, <laughs> old man. <laughs> I see. Giggle, giggle. <laughs> Turn into an exciting place. Go to the kitchen, I guess. Oh, never mind. Whoops. I want. I wanted to get some last um, festival coins so I could get the Moomoo milk, but I think I screwed myself by not paying attention to what he wanted. Hello there, Sophocles. I haven't shown you on a video, but this is the guy that basically runs the festival. I'll introduce a new facility to you. It's Battle Table. It's run by Punk Girl. Um, sure, I'll host it, I guess. I guess. Um. I don't know what to replace. I guess I'll do Fump Bump Park because I don't plan on EV training. Is this, is this like a random battle that I can do every single day? Very good, keep it up. Okay, but wait, where'd you go? If I leave and come back, is he in there again? Because I leveled up twice. No? Okay. I, I want to see what this is, actually. Welcome to the food store battle table. Have a meal. A big bento box, it raises Pokemon's base health points. Okay, so this is basically like um, buying the proteins and stuff like that, I'm guessing. What was the food store? Rare Kitchen. Oh, this is another one that I want to show off. You can go ahead and buy these, which are basically like rare candies to just instantly, instantly level Pokemon. Rare Breakfast, sure. You can okay, so I I can't like stockpile them, I guess. Um, let's give Pinky deserves meal, sure. Munch munch. Pinky satisfied with the taste. Pinky's level it went up by one. See, I thought I thought I could stockpile them and just buy a bunch, but I'm guess I guess not. Oh wait, I just. I'm gonna just screw myself because I had over 30 coins and I wanted to buy Moo Moo Milk. And now I don't think I can. Was it this one? Well, it was a goodie shop, yes. <laughs> I'm one coin short, are you kidding me? Please, please, no. Blue, 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 blue. Blue. No, give me a red. Give me a red. Come on. It's not going to generate anymore, is it? <sighs> yeah, it only, it only randomly generates enough, like, once a day, unfortunately. So I'm going to miss out on getting Moo Moo Milks. God damn it. That's annoying. If I knew that, then, you know, I wouldn't have been a dumb. Oh, wait, Miki. I'm glad to see a familiar face. I always get lost so quickly. I can't figure out the roads here. I can't even buy my own clothes. But you, you're moving on to your first trial? You're going to the Verdant Cavern? I read something in an old book once. It said that the island challenges were once a journey made to prove yourself and gain the strength to battle against the guardian deities of Alola, like Tapu Koko. The people of Iki Town think that Tapu Koko loves Pokemon battles, didn't they? 
If we could meet Tapu Koko once more, do you think we would find the answer as to why it saved you and Nebby that day? I think it saved her because it saw a child about to die. Oh yes, please take these, they're called revives. If you use them, yeah. Can't, can't use them. I'm afraid. Thanks, I guess. Good luck in your first trial, I hope it goes well for you. Thanks, I guess. Hi there. Hey Miki, I've got this orny creature calmed again for now. Wanna try giving him a pat? Sure. Oh, look at the grass! Look at the grass. Let's just poke it on the nose. Hmm, Taurus didn't care for that. What? Touch its foreleg. Hmm, Taurus didn't seem to care for that. Wait, you want me to grab the horn? Oh. Okay. Maybe old Taurus here can feel the love for you. And yet, it seems to me like Taurus wants to stretch his legs on his own island challenge. Alright, bye. That Melameli Kahuna never loses friends. God, look at the grass. It didn't emulate well, did it? Alright, so this is Route 2. I can already see there's one trainer there. You're not a trainer, right? Careful of that, young trainer. Have you seen the way grass shakes on Route 2? The Russ and Grass hides a Pokemon that's dying to pounce on an easy trainer. But battling those feisty creatures can be worth it. Sometimes they drop items after battle. Alright, well I'm not going to tackle that right now. Instead, I'm going to do what I said I was going to do. And I'm going to look up the documentation and work out which route is which, which different bits of grass have different Pokemon in them and stuff like that. And next time I guess we will continue to make some progress up at Route 2. So hopefully we can get some really cool Pokemon because my team right now is, is good but I want some really cool Pokemon.